What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Air Fryer Fridays. I know it's been a long time, but we are back. Say what's up to the Air Fryer, but say what's up to that bad boy, because we, uh, since I've been gone, I had my bridal shower, and I got the powerhouse of a fucking air fryer back there. I also had a party, so I had to borrow an air fryer from my brother. That's that small one. But we are back. Uh, excuse the crude versions of the quality of the videos. Uh, since I've last done videos, uh, my equipment has failed. So I'll be getting that soon, but uh, we're back. So stay tuned for more Air Fryer Fridays and OK So's coming up. So today we are going to be making air fried blooming onion. So let's try it, or blossom, pet onion blossoms, depending on which franchise steakhouse you get it from. We're doing like the fried onion shits. That. All right, so what you're wanting to do first is get your onion and you're wanting to dice it. Now you don't want to cut all the way down to the stem, so a little hack that I do is I take some chopsticks and kind of just put them at the end right here so it prevents your knife from coming down all the way. So you want to chop into four quarters first and then kind of just go into each quarter so you can blossom it. So now we bloom the onion. So you kind of just peel it back, be gentle. You want to use a sweet onion, a large one if you can. Unfortunately, I only have these little baby ones for the time being. All right, so we got that. We got that bloomed out pretty well. Now let's work on our batter. All right, so you're gonna wanna adjust it just for the size, but for this one, uh, for medium or small sweet onion, I'm gonna use a cup of flour, a cup of dried breadcrumbs. I'm using Italian seasoning. You can use whatever. A lot of people like to use panko. Up to you. A tablespoon of salt, about a teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of white pepper, of white pepper, it's gonna be a teaspoon almost of every seasoning. So we got some cumin. Paprika. Onion powder. Mustard powder. Italian seasoning. brown sugar and some garlic powder. Then you're just going to whisk that all up together. You want to take your onion, throw it in there and get it nice and coated on the inside and on the outside. No worries if you don't get it all, we're going to do another step. So you want to get another clean bowl, put your doused onion in there. And then what you're going to want to do is you want to take a cup of buttermilk and just pour it over. If you don't have buttermilk, I found a fun hack is to just take a cup of milk and a tablespoon of white vinegar, let it sit in room temp for 10 minutes, and you got yourself homemade buttermilk. And you just pour it over there, it'll coagulate, you'll see. You're gonna get your hands messy, but you can use a fork. Don't be afraid. Get the other side. So you get back to your base of flour and your seasoning batter mixture. And you take your onion and you're gonna coat the onion inside and out. All right, now that your air fryer has been preheated, uh, you're gonna wanna spray the bottom of the air fryer with any kind of cooking oil, like vegetable or avocado oil. Then you take your onion, plop it in, 
spray your onion with a more vegetable oil. And then just so it doesn't get burnt, place a place a aluminum foil over it so it doesn't burn. And then you're gonna pop that in the air fryer for about 20 minutes. But you wanna check on it within the halfway mark. All right, we'll see you at the 10 minute mark. All right, so this is what it looks like for the halfway mark, so pretty nice. So we're gonna spray it some more and we're gonna uncover the onion and let it cook all the way for the rest of the 10 minutes. And I just like to check on it halfway through, so you know, five minutes to see how it is. Alrighty, folks, check it out, look at that. Nice and crispy. All right, let's take a little piece off. Ooh, piping hot. That is what I'm talking about, folks. Blooming onion at home, not as greasy, not as unhealthy, and a little more cost effective, if I say so myself. All right, hope you enjoyed that, folks. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and always remember live grande and be guapo.